Now we are three weeks into winter. Well, yesterday actually was the shortest day for winter. Temperatures have definitely dropped, and our resident travel expert Debbie Griffiths is here to give us some advice on making the most of our days off. Morning, Debbie. Morning. Yeah, it has dropped kind of cold, but I talked to some experts about how you can dress and how you can pack for the outdoors this season. Don't hide away this winter. With the right clothing and some clever travel gear, you can go anywhere. Hi, Jay. Nice to meet you. Hi, Justin. I'm going hiking this weekend. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest? I need to stay warm. What do I do? Layering. The oh. key to any experience, whether it be summer, winter, is layering. Oh. So first off, we're going to start with a base layer. Merino is great because it wicks away any moisture on your skin. Next, we're going to go with some sort of mid layer. So a fleece is ideal. This jacket, for you, is my favourite. So it's um, a hybrid, really. It has insulation in the front, so it's going to keep you warm. Four-way stretch, so for any active pursuits, it's going to move with you. Third layer is probably the most common that everybody comes in for, our down. Really lightweight, aren't really, they? Really, really light. Yeah. It'll keep you super warm. All right, so tell me what kind of packs I'm going to need. So the best backpack, um, from what you were telling me about in your travels, uh, is going to be the brand new Adapt Terrain Pack. This is the world's first adaptable wheel system. Wow. Um, so it's not just a backpack. Not just the backpack, this it's is also the luggage along. as well. Wow, cool, I love it. A big feature on this as well is that it opens up from the front. <laughs> I think I could get in this. You might be able to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what other sort of packing solutions can we look at here? Well, we have all kinds of different packing cells here. Um, different shapes and sizes and colors. Packing cells are going to keep you organized, right. mainly. When you travel in, the last thing you want to do is open up your bag and just see a bunch of clothes laying all over the place. Oh, yeah. So how does that fit for you? It feels great. Thank feels you so good. much for your help. You're I very really welcome. It. We'll okay. see ya. See ya. Safe travel. I love that. A backpack that has wheels. So you can still feel like a hip backpacker, and yet you can have wheels so you can drag it along. Exactly. Perfect. And you've got one of these fancy jackets as well. What does this do? Well, oh, this is a Yatra. So we're talking versatility. Yep. We want something that changes into something else. So let me show you okay, what it go. does. I'm not that I'm timing you or anything, but this is a test. <laughs> well, the good thing is, I mean, if you take it off at the end of the day and you're not so cold, you know, you've gotten nice and warm and everything. Yeah. And then you need to sleep, of course. So you just pack this all away. So we're talking about hiking and going on any great walks. Have you been on any of the great walks, I by the way. Been any of the great walks. But what does we actually let's talk about that? Oh, look, and you've got a little pillow. Yeah, just this like is that. A pillow. Beautiful. That is nice. The great walks. What classifies? Well, what what means? What's a great walk? Well, the great walks. There are nine of them in New Zealand. So we're talking about um, walks that are really well maintained. I'm going to sleep now. Nice. Walks that are great and maintained. Doc looks after the numbers, so it controls how many people are there. And there are nine throughout New Zealand. So there's in the North Island. There's Lake Waikati Moana. There's Tongariro. There's Whanganui. And then we head down south. There's Nelson Tasman. There's Abel Tasman and Hefe. And then further south, you've got the Rootburn, the Kepler, and the Milford. And on Stewart Island, there's Rakiura as well, which I did a little part of the other day, which is brilliant. So have you done any of those walks at I've all? I've done nothing at all. I've never done an overnight walk at all. So it has to be... It's not great unless you're overnight. It's um, a multi-day walk, so you have to book into the huts, the dock huts. So that's why they're so well maintained, and that's why they keep the numbers down as well. So it's lots of great hikes for you to do all over the country this winter. Have you done any? No, no. We just touched on the Rakiura track, so... I'd love to do more because it was so beautiful and you know that they're so different as well. The terrain, the mountains are different. You've got some that go around mountains, you've got some that th go through bush. Oh, so God. have a look online. There are so many different types for your skill level and one of them, the Whanganui, is actually more of a kayak. That one sounds well. fantastic. I'd love yeah. to do that with the whole family. Well, thank you very much, Debbie. And lots of great travel ideas there. We know all of our audience are going to be heading into the great outdoors as well. So Backcountry Cuisine has provided us with some freeze-dried camping meals for you all! Yay! You all get these from meals! <laughs> um, and the great thing about these two is that they're not just good for backcountry, they're also good if you're going on an offshore yacht trip. You can take these as well. They're very light, they don't take up much room.